What's up, y'all? Russ back in the building. Today, we got an impromptu podcast. I got with me my boy Cam, my boy Dre. We got some sports topics. Uh, let's just jump right into it. First topic, how did y'all feel about the All-Star Game format? At first, I was like, bro, this is so many rules. So pretty much after the third quarter, it's like the first team to... Like, honestly, I was really confused. I was really confused. I saw one team had two on their jersey. One team had 24. At first, I didn't realize Gigi wore two. So I was like, I was literally confused. Like, bro, why did they, what are they doing? But then, like, everything with the target score. Like, can any of y'all explain to me what that was about? Like, the All-Star Game format. Well, format was, it was more towards... Uh, making it competitive? Making it competitive, but it was also for a charity. charity. It's a charity. Because there's a tar- there's already there's a target score. Yeah. But what is 157 though? 157. I believe it was. Um, I think it was a tribute to Kobe. It was. But that's uh, how though. So it was like the end score that they have. So, so whichever end score team, at the third quarter. So third the third quarter score. Whoever has the most points, the target score will be 24 points added on to that to whatever team has the highest point total going into the fourth quarter, right? So Giannis's team, they had the lead going into the third quarter, so it was uh, 24 points added on to that one, and I believe they already had like a double-digit lead going into the th- uh, fourth quarter. Yeah. So Team LeBron was really behind, and they made it even more competitive to try and get back in it. My thing is, bro. People on Twitter were saying like, "We just want Kobe to be the logo, bro." Yeah. Did y'all not hear that? We didn't ask for all that. We just wanted Kobe to be the logo. But, like you said, it did make it more competitive. But the All-Star game was lit. And it they was... were also playing for charity, too. My thing is this, bro. Yeah. People were saying that it was lit. I do think it was lit. But to me, bro, at the end, I was just like, these dudes are missing a lot of shots. Like, I, I feel it, though. Richard even was pressing me. He was like, bro, you're I mean, saying also, it wasn't lit, but they were You also have, like, the best players really. and defenders guarding each other, too. So yeah. it's going to look different. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, and... Uh, obviously, at the end of the game, they were calling a lot of bogus fouls. That's what I'm files. saying, bro. Uh, Kyle Lowry. You know, Dude, the first charge in All-Star Game history. Yeah. <laughs> it, wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't really legit, you know? But um, It was it, legit. It, 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 was, it, was it, obvious, it was obvious what the officials were doing. They were trying to make it competitive. They're trying to make it like a draw real it game, out. bro. They're trying to draw it out as yeah. best they could. Did y'all see that, uh, That uh, not to cut you off, that... Um, What's that? That ball boy? He was cleaning up. Y- y'all didn't watch the game? The other game that happened last night? It was the Lakers game. This ball boy is literally like cleaning up like a mess that happened and these dudes came back on transition. This dude almost got dunked on. I've seen that happen and the re- times. I haven't like, seen it happen ever, bro. Yeah, he was so scared, times. bro. <laughs> Imagine that. Some dude like 250 just running at like some uh, 440 speed just at your hand. Just about to take down the whole rim. But the All-Star game, it was pretty lit and these dudes are saying that they're going to keep that tradition going. I think they made it more competitive, but I don't know, bro. I feel like, you know, y'all see Devin Booker got in at the last minute. It was Did deserved. He, des- that? he deserved it. Bro, he should have been in from the beginning. Yeah. yeah. From the very, well, I was talking to Cam about it, actually. Like, um, league-wide, the, the, state, the stats are pretty inflated. How? I mean. Well, you have Trey Young. You have Trey Young dropping 30 almost points. 30 a game. You have like three or four guys after almost 30. Yeah. Last time that really happened, I believe, was like 2005, 2006. Like LeBron was third in the league in scoring, and he was dropping yeah. 30 a game. That's when Ray was Kobe the Bucks. Was, Kobe was dropping 35 points a game. Uh, I believe Ray Allen was, was down there on the list. He was averaging like 26, 27 or something like that. Like, But they were actually able to play defense. More than they in are the today. league, in the, in the league, league, or just in the um, in, all-star game. In the league, in the league. I'm talking about league. in the league. Period. Oh, just people in general. Yeah, in general. Play more so that's why I'm saying like a lot of guys are going to be snubbed because everybody's dropping thirty balls. Everybody's got inflated stats. Like Bradley Bill, he got he missed the all-star game, all-star selection. Bro, he was so tight. He's bro. averaging twenty-nine points a game. That's the most in history without an all-star selection. I know. You know what I mean? I know. And. You can't really I guess bring, you're up, right. you can't really bring you're up the losing team argument because if you look at how many teams are, have losing records, a lot of them do. 16 out of 30 teams have <laughs> exactly. a losing record. Exactly, more than half of them do. You know, but they're and like, but he plays for a bad team. I'm like, Trey plays for a Y'all play. all play for the bad thing teams. Is, all-star selection isn't for the team, it's for the players. It's for the person. Exactly. That's you know, what say the Washington Wizards got into the All-Star games. You say John Wall? Yeah. Yeah. Where was John Wall, though? Hurt. Oh, yeah, he's hurt. Anyways, he's... You know, that's what Shaq was saying. He was like, MVP awards, they they actually 
They're just going off to- just going off topic a little bit. They actually they tie in team success along with yeah. uh, player success. It happens all the time. Right, That's right. why players get seed. You know, if you have like a number one seed and you're the leader of that team probably going to get looked at a lot more than somebody that's going off and say they're like a fourth seed. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's like LeBron, like two years ago, you know, he was um, averaging over 27 points a game, 54% from the uh, field, and he played all 82 games. More, all 82 games, but, all 45 yeah, minutes. But he lost the MVP award because Houston had the number one record, uh, number one seed in the league, and James Harden was scoring a lot. You know, but efficiency wise, he wasn't even close. He was actually shooting ten percent less less than LeBron. He was shooting forty four percent from the field. I mean, you know he what probably I mean? still is. <laughs> well, he's not very efficient. We know that. Yeah. yeah. But honestly, that's just another NBA topic. The Rockets are turning up. Te- actually, I was gonna say the Rockets are turning up Texas, but the Mavs are actually turning up Texas. The Luka, Mavs are gonna be in the playoffs. That's what I'm saying, Luca, bro. I actually went to see him play. Mm-hmm. He is nice, bro. Like he's nice. It's just like that feeling. I feel like I haven't had this feeling since I saw Dirt play, and they're not the same at all. But I'm just saying, like people being like excited. You know what I'm saying? Not just being excited, but I'm talking at the game. Like there's a fast break. You're excited. Like what's gonna happen? Mm-hmm. Is he about to pull up from deep, or what is he about to do? Because Luca doesn't even look like a basketball player, boy. Really I don't does. even know what type of <laughs> athlete he looks like. I don't like either. what? He's just some dude that's big. And like uh, this dude is getting buckets, man. Right? You know, he's he's his build isn't very athletic. What is his but build? His, but his skill set is really polished. Yeah, you know? his, so he can get his where he build. Would. It doesn't look like he could play for any major sports league. Though. Yeah, like he, he doesn't like, look, really. Like, he yeah. does not look like a professional athlete. Yeah. He just looks tall, and he is only twenty years old, or twenty one. I think he's twenty twenty. I think he's twenty one. That reminds me of Kevin. Who? Love. Kevin no, Love. No, Kevin from like. Oh. oh. Remember Kevin? Kevin or the other Kevin? No, that Kevin. Oh, that Kevin. Yeah. Well, Kevin, yeah. he, he wasn't just, like pudgy or anything. He's not like pudgy. he had a like. Big... I mean, oh, I know who you're talking about. I know who you're talking about. He's not pudgy, you know. Like but Luca, he's just like big. he's not fat or pudgy. He's just where he plays in the league, though. He does not it's look weird. like he plays professional sports. Yeah. But, I mean, but I don't know what other occupation I could picture him doing. Probably in it, NHL. Hockey? I don't even know, bro. <laughs> just look at his face, though. He doesn't even look like a soc- a hockey player or. He just, I don't know, bro. I don't, I don't know. I feel the same type of way about Luca, but He's nasty. I do rock with his skill set. He is cold. Yeah, he can get anywhere he wants on the floor, pretty much. Uh, he has that deceptive. Uh, I think he has a step back on him, too. He has yeah. a little step back. It's just like a. Uh, he's got it. Yeah. Uh, he, gets just, he just works for him because he's 6'8. Yeah. yeah. He's very deceptive. All right, we got another question. Warriors, okay, we were talking about this earlier. Who would you take? I think we already decided, but. Who would you take, the Warriors with KD and Clay? Was that was that was that what you said? Which Clay. One? Oh, the Warriors Clay? with Clay and KD. Clay and KD or Steph and KD. Yeah, I'm taking.